Hello! Today we are going to be taking a look at this uh, very interesting cigarette lighter plug that I recently purchased for my project that is promising to resolve one of the biggest issue that I've got with cigarette lighter plug and it is being accidental unplugging or losing connection. So even when you've got like a very tiny pull on the wire, it can lose connection, which of course, when you've got like a small electronics, like for example, GPS or phone charger, it is not an issue. But if you've got something that is pulling more up, when you are start to losing that good connection on the tip, your connector is going to be overheating and eventually could melt down. So there is also a safety issue not only like a inconvenience. When you are dealing with cigarette lighter connection in marine application, you can purchase a very specialized socket that looks like this, and you will find information that you've got a lock point, so you can put here your plug that is also marine grade and support locking, and you can rotate it and it's going to be securing inside. But as you can see, it's got totally different build inside. And it is something else that a, a regular adapter like this. So absolutely forget about using those locking one on devices like this. Here, as you can see, you've got a totally a regular cigarette lighter socket or in power station like this. Here you also have got a, a regular one, so this is not a good route. When in compare those connectors from technical point of view should support totally a regular cigarette lighter output. So as long you can swap the connector on your device, you should be good to go. And I purchased it for my project and I'm going to be using them with my power banks. So it's been called B-Log, we've got 10 amp max, we've got a glass fuse, 12 and 24 volt system, we've got included wire. Here we've got information how to swap our fuse, 1.2 meter length of wire, how to use it, we are plugging it while being unlocked, then we are rotating like this collar, and it's going to be locking in place, we've got the positive and the negative because it is ended up with a just straight cut wire. We've got Italy quality, but the product itself is of course made in China and here we've got the EAN number. This is how it's presenting. So yes, let's do a small unboxing and let's see what we've got inside and inside we've got this element and I can tell you right now that it is screaming low quality and this wire is pretty thin just to be honest and this is how it's presenting it looking pretty bad here is our collar I can see thread. As you can see, when comparing to a, a regular plug, we've got much more negative one. Here is our positive tip. It is a spring loaded. Let's take a look. So it's presenting like this. Pretty standard. Here we've got our glass fuse. That looks like a regular AC. Yes, it is. So yeah, it is not a very high quality. So let's see how it's working actually. If you take a look here, we've got this plastic element that's got this cut out. Let me undo it to the end. So we can go like this. And as you can see, those elements are sliding as being threaded here. And when they are being threaded, that they are going to be pushing this element and creating 
like a force. So let me present you that here. It is flush. You see this here? And I'm rotating it. And it is expanding like that torture device that people inserting into a rectum in like a medieval times. And they were like making the same motion. And people were screaming. I'm not sure what is the proper name. But yeah. This is exactly the same design. So yeah, we have to give it a try and we can use this power station. We can turn it on and start it. And as you can see, we've got a nice light. And when we are like playing with this, even slightly, you can see that it is working and not. And it is a really painful. I had like a portable cooler and while hiking it was disconnecting because of a tiny movement. So if this can resolve the issue, then it's going to be cool. So we should insert it like this and then try to lock it. Let me see, are we not going to be creating short? So I'm squeezing it. And as you can see, yeah, you see this? I <laughs> I can almost lift it by this this wire. So yeah, this is pretty cool. Let's see. I will try to lift it like this. Absolutely, do not replicate it, and it is totally stupid. Let's give it a try. So we go here. I'm touching there. It's not working, but we have to energize it. And as you can see, we can pull here. And we've got a light. Light is glowing. This is absolutely a stupid thing to do. But I would say... I would risk saying that it is a pretty good. Okay. It is very painful to unscrew and screw. So yeah, it is uh, not a very good design. The idea is great. But the quality of the material is very low. Here we've got goal zero with a regular cigarette lighter socket. So let me try to press it. We are trying to screw it and it is locking in place i'm not sure if not easier would be to like squeeze it and just press it press fit and as you can see it go really hard it is uh, like a beefy go zero but I would say, I would say, my dear viewers, that you see it's slight thick. That we can nicely pull it. Yeah, this is a eh, pretty, pretty decent. But as I'm telling you. The build of that device is pretty bad. I would say it is manufactured cheaply, but the idea is perfect. Let me check something more. Let's check that one because it is a very special and that's because it is not that long. It is pretty like uh, how to say it. It is shallow. So I'm not sure if it's going to be reaching there. You see? But let's give it a try. It is already painful to my fingers. Oh, here we've got an issue. 
let me expand it. Maybe not that big of an issue. Yeah, it is. It is pretty good. Let's see if it's working. And yes, of course. Here we've got it working. And I can hold it so. Yeah, from technical point of view, I would say it is a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. So in my personal opinion, this device is going to be great addition for my project. So I will be able to fit it into backpack and I won't be afraid that like a tiny pool, it's going to be disconnecting it and ruining my day. But at the same time, I'm not very enjoying the build quality. It is already hurting my fingers by screwing that. It is like a very cheap product. So if you know something better, better quality could be more expensive that work with a standard devices like this or like with a Go Zero, then please let me know in comment because I was unable to find anything better. But as today, I believe this is the only device that allow me to do something like this. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you find that interesting. See you next time and bye bye.